Ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. I feel like I have to sneeze. Welcome back to the Gingerlyn Podcast. You gonna do it? No, it went away. Sneeze. You, know, you scared it away when you yelled dink dink. <laughs> this week's episode is brought to you by Farmer's Dog, the dog food company that makes feeding your dog easy and delicious. We just delicious. got our shipment today. We literally just got our shipment today. It is uh, human grade and tested recipes with food sourced from small farms so you know you can trust it's real food. Delicious food for your dogs, formulated specifically for your pet right now. Uh, you get free shipping and 50% off your first two weeks when you go to thefarmersdog.com slash Anna Julian or click the link below. Great service. Also, guys, Postmates, the best delivery app out there. We use it. Actually, we're going to probably use it right after we film to order dinner because we don't have time mm, to make dinner. I love ordering dinner. Guys, no matter what you feel like ordering out in the world, do it with Postmates. Okay? It's the best way to get your food delivered, hands down. The best delivery app there is. We've used it for years and we love it. Um, right now, Postmates is giving you $100 of free delivery credits for your first seven days to start. Download the Postmates app and use code Jenna Julian. That's just our names. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you, sponsors. And thank you, so, sponsors. Why are you moving my beep? I'm just trying to get him in a good position. Why are you moving him? Beep, 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 beep. He's there gently he napping on his pillow. Why do you have to move him? <sighs> He's a good boy. He likes the spot now. Here, do you want me to turn him around so y'all can see whoa, him? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what? What did I do? There's a keyboard here what that controls I, the recording of the audio and Marbles almost turned it off. Now you can look at the Bob while he sleeps because he's a very gentle little baby. What? Okay. S- sneeze. <laughs> I can't sneeze, Julian. It's gone. There's one thing that I I've done I've done a couple times and I don't ever do it anymore because I know how mad it makes you, but it's when mm-hmm. when you're about to sneeze and you're like you're doing this you know and it's really coming and I'm and I'll say bless you and then you won't have to sneeze and you're just it's so so mad. rude it's so rude you're it's not a rude rude boy it is rude and you're a rude boy I'm not a rude boy yes you are no I just did it a couple times as a meme but I really a couple times yeah I didn't. I didn't do it after that one time that That's you didn't like true. it. <laughs> what, what is that? What do you guys have? What is that? Hey, hey, hey. What is it? It's like a red piece of plastic. Oh, God. He's such a rat. They had their like face inside their bed. Like I, I thought it was like a food or something. What did okay. you say Anyways. about Kermit earlier? You said you look like a rat stopped acting like one. <laughs> <laughs> well, because we had him in the car and we were just driving like literally 100 feet or whatever. So we didn't, you know, strap them in their seatbelts or whatever. And so Kermit goes under <laughs> Julian's like seat while he's driving because he's looking for like food scraps or like anything that smells like food possibly in the car, even though your car is like clean. He's like, he knows he's found food in seats like that in the past. So he's like digging around and that he was like going under my legs and it was really fucking annoying. So I go, you, you already look like a rat. Stop acting like one. He's he gets nastier every day. He shows us a different level of his ability to be just so gross and nasty all the time. Um, I have this bed on my desk downstairs by my PC where Peach sits, and she'll sit there for hours it's and hours. It's her and bed. Hours. She loves that bed. She loves. She'll it. She'll bark to get up into it. Yeah, as Jenna says, it's like the only thing in the house that's just Peach's. Yeah, it's just hers. And so it's her bed. And so today while I was editing, I had both of them on the bed because I was just like, I needed Kermit to yeah. be away from you because you were working. She's real sweet. She'll share her bed. Yeah, she'll share it, but she's not going to get kicked out of her bed. No. But anyway, that's not the point. Um, you were working. I was trying to take Kermit off of your hands because mm-hmm. a lot of times when you're writing your show mm-hmm. or you're working on your video or whatever, Kermit is just annoying you and so i need to much. take him away from you because he won't stop and he, won't he constantly get needs me every second of every day so i preemptively took him into the office and uh had him on the bed with peach and i was editing for like two two and a half hours and then i leave and i'm getting him out of the bed and i see these like four or five just like splotches of drool that he let out of his mouth while leaning over the edge of the bed onto my desk mm-hmm. at first i was like oh that's weird what are those drops and then I was like, that's where Kermit was sitting. He fucking was sitting there with his eyes oh. wide like a rat open, <laughs> dripping jewel out of his feral <laughs> mouth while I was sitting there editing. Instead of just like sleeping or something, he couldn't have just like napped. Oh my God. He was just thinking about what he wanted to put in his gullet and just drooled. That's nasty. It's nasty. Aww. 
Have you ever drooled for food? No, not for food. Not like once. drooled in my sleep. I've drooled in my sleep, but also for food a couple times. No, I don't drool no, for like, food. I'm not a dog. No, 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 no not outside of your mouth. <laughs> like it's just, you know, it's like the food's coming. You're like, well, yeah, like that. Yeah, it's like a natural salivation. Yeah, yeah, it's for survival. <laughs> no, I don't just like sit there with my <laughs> mouth open and drool. <laughs> You nasty. I know I'm nasty, but I'm not as nasty as your little son. Yeah, but we love each other. Like, we show all the nasty and all the crying, and we talk about it because it's funny, and it's, like, so much. But, like, he's my guy. I know he's your guy. We spend every second of every day together. Oh, I'm very aware. He, I have not walked into a room alone since he <laughs> arrived in my arms. I'm very aware of both of those <laughs> things. <laughs> we can't be away from each other. Uh, he doesn't like fast movement either. Well, um, yesterday I ran through the house to do something and he, he barked at me. He, he like probably to get a package or something. Yeah. They hate when I run, which sucks. It sucks so much because when I was a kid, I couldn't run in the house mm-hmm. or play ball. And now I'm an adult and I just want to do those things, but they don't like it. So now I, it's like, I'm. They like calm energy, Julian. But I even out like your energy. playing ball no, and a, running in the house. A dog barking at you for having energy like that is the perfect way for you to know that your energy is not good energy. We don't it's have any Aries dogs. Bad, chaotic energy. No, we don't have any Aries dogs. But let's get an Aries dog. I don't think that's going to help. <laughs> I think they're still going to read your chaotic energy and react the way that they What? Okay, so we're sitting down do. at the dinner table. Okay, let me just paint a picture for you. Okay, I'm gonna paint it. Show your eyes. Show your eyes. Show your eyes. Okay, we're at the we're at the dinner table eating. Mm-hmm. Mm, good dinner. Thank you, Jenna. <laughs> I need this to is chew yummy. Your mouth. Open. Thank you. Ew. Because okay. it doesn't make a noise if my mouth is shut. <laughs> Why do you okay. have to audibly Thank swallow? You. Thank you, Jenna, for making dinner. Keep your eyes shut. Uh, this water is nice and cold. Ding dong. Oh, let me get the door. Stands up. <gasps> Fifty That's dogs. That's job, though. Okay, fine. Cut out the ding dong. How about this? Yeah. How about I just stand up and walk towards the front door? Mm. Immediate barking. That's not true. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. They pick up on your like alertness, your energy, and then they bark accordingly. Like to me, that's I'm I'm not gonna discipline my dog for barking at the door because to no, me no, that's no. like that's their job. Yeah. Sort of, yeah. No, I'm not There's saying There's plenty they of people bark the that door. would disagree with me and that's fine. But to me, I'd like Marbles and Kermit and Peach have well, Peach doesn't really bark ever. She doesn't bark. But like there's been plenty of times when they've alerted me to something that I was not aware of that I'm very grateful for. Fair enough. You know what Fair I mean? Fair enough. I'm not trying to say their alertness or their guard dog mentality is bad. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just anytime I have movement that's faster than walking in the yeah, house. Yeah, well, then why don't they bark at me when I move? Because I don't have chaotic energy like you. I'll tell you why they don't bark at you. Because Marvel and Kermit would die for you. <laughs> they would both die for you. They, you can do no wrong in their eyes. Even when Kermit snaps at you, it's out of love. Mm -hmm. Me, on the other hand, they love me. I'm their dad, but I'm not Jenna. (laughs) So I can do wrong. And in their (laughs) eyes, I do do wrong when I move fast. And they're letting you know. They're letting me know. Well, then maybe just like, oh. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't know. I didn't know. (laughs) Just I'm sorry. He, Marbles was sleeping in front sorry, of us, and Julian on. just pet him like a child would pet a sleeping animal and scare the shit out of him. <laughs> I didn't scare the shit out of him. Yes, you did. I, just, I, I startled him. I'm sorry. No, you're lucky he didn't no. do that thing where he runs a thousand miles an hour away from whatever just touched him. He's old. You can't scare I, him like that. I did not. I honestly looked at his eye and I thought I was away. No, no, you I didn't look at his eye. He's facing away from you. I have a three quarters angle. Julian, view we have it on film. I have a 45 degree view. Look at this. His, he was. I saw his eye and it was open. <laughs> He was. He must have been sleeping with his eyes yeah, open. Yeah, but he's old. You can't know, just like touch him without him knowing. This was a bad representation. I'm really good with him. He. We don't. We get along a lot. Okay, we'll take your word for it. <laughs> Thanks. I'm sorry for startling you. <laughs> he literally jumped up <laughs> like a cartoon cat. Oh no! No, he's fine. Marble, do nothing if you're happy and you forgive me. Good boy. Okay, maybe you stop pushing him around the table. So he can relax. I'm really sorry. Um, He's anyway. 10 years old. Let him fucking relax. Dude, I'll let him relax, okay? Give me a player, dude. All right, what are we doing today? 
Well, since we had so much fun doing the first one, I don't know why it was so fun. It was fun because it's it's just silly and like everyone can play along. It's kind of hard, but kind of easy. Yeah. Kind of stupid. Kind of amazing. Yeah. It's called Guess That Recipe where we go on Pinterest and we read the recipe aloud for the class to hear. And then you have to guess what the recipe is. So I'll be like cereal, milk. And Jenna will be like, is it a bowl of cereal? And I'd be like, yeah. And that's the game. So we'll do that. All right. You go first. Oh, me go first. Are you ready, Julian? Yeah. I still can't get over gruel from the last time. Oh, I got some I got some bangers coming this time. Do you? Okay. It's absolute bangers. All right. Your first recipe. Don't look. I'm not looking. I have to open it in Pinterest, so give me a second. 20 grams fresh yeast. 60 grams sugar. 250 milliliters milk. 500 grams all-purpose flour. A pinch of salt. 250 grams butter. Also, one egg, one tablespoon of milk. Bread. Not a bad guess. Cornbread. Where's the corn? Yeah, there's no corn in cornbread. Boy, what's wrong with you? There's no corn in cornbread. Do you want you want corn bet? starch or something? You want to bet? There's not literally corn in cornbread. Do you want to bet? Yeah. What do you think is in it? Corn starch? Yeah. You think corn starch gives it its corn flavor? No, not corn starch. Corn flour. Corn flour? Corn bits. I mean, I'll look it there's up. There's not whole pieces of corn is what your argument is. You're, so to be clear, your argument is that there is full corn... On cob. At a homemade one? Yeah, bread. not not one that you bought in like a box? Yeah, there's like corn in there. Like a to full me, cob of corn inside I'll the bread. I'll look up a recipe. I mean, I've made it before with like how actual you, chunks of corn in it. How do you bite through it? What are you talking about? If there's a whole corn on the cob inside the bread, how do you eat Julian, it? Julian, it's not on the cob. <laughs> it's not on the cob or off the cob. It's nowhere. It's not even it's in the bread. Corn. It's corn. There's no corn in cornbread. Julian, then... What's in banana bread then? Banana. Then why isn't there corn in cornbread? There just isn't. Sorry, I'm looking up a recipe now because now I'm just trying to. Yellow corn meal? Meal. Okay. But I've made it with corn in it before. <laughs> I was right. But you didn't say cornmeal. You said, said cornstarch. I said cornstarch or flour, and that's pretty much cornmeal. Okay, so but there's I'll plenty of cornbread bow. that has actual corn in it, and it's so good. All plenty of those cornbreads with actual corn in it have never, ever, ever made an appearance in my life. I've never seen a single cornbread They're with corn so in it. They're so good. What are you, crazy? You Why? also don't like corn. I love corn. I, but, but like cornbread is such a delicious Food, it's like got such a unique flavor. It's like sweet, but like savory. How can you it's like a corn great bread, bread. But not corn. You can put like butter on it. It's so good. Why would you fucking put corn in it? <gasps> Julian, it's corn. It's corn. Okay. Anyways, the recipe is not cornbread, but what is the recipe? Listen, for? this has this calls for four fourteen point seven five ounces of creamed corn. Creamed corn. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you that. I still prefer it the, my way. It's look it. There's chunks of corn in the cornbread. Oh god! <gasps> Instant spit out of on the line plate. <laughs> You're so rude. I'm not rude. Okay. Anyways, I give up. What was that recipe? It's a croissant. No, I had one too. I could have dropped my croissant. <laughs> well, you had one what? I had a croissant. Oh. Wait, there's no yeast in a croissant. It's just puff pastry. The fuck kind of croissant? Croissant. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, my turn. Yeah, go for it. Me first. You first. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start off with a real shit post. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, fuck. What? Hold up. What'd oh, you do? Okay, hold on. What'd you do? <laughs> What'd you do? I, I just, I accidentally, it linked me to an Amazon page. <laughs> so. <gasps> ah. Ah. Okay. Okay, it's just pictures of them. All right. Okay, we're going to skip this one. I'll give it away. I couldn't find an actual recipe for it, only an Amazon link. I was going to make um, V-Buck cookies. <laughs> but I couldn't find an actual recipe. V-Buck cookies? Like yeah. V-Bucks from Fortnite? Yeah, they look like V-Bucks. 
Wow. Okay. Okay. Ready? Thank you, Julian. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> Fuck off. What? That is a shit post. Okay. Two uh, packages of active dry yeast. Fuck. Okay, you're right. I'm it does what? have yeast. It does have yeast. I thought it was puff pastry. I was going to do... Okay. This it's is my croissant. croissant. Yeah, but listen to my ingredients. Warm water, sweet potato, wh- white sugar, shortening, egg, salt, flour, butter. Bet you didn't think there was going to be a sweet potato in there. Threw you off big time and good. All right, that one didn't count. All right. Let's Am do I going to get a recipe to let's guess? Let's do my first real one. Okay, ready? Sorry, I'm just scrolling down through the novel. Okay, here we go. Flour. Dark brown muscovado sugar. Butter. <laughs> Excuse you? Muscovado should sugar, I think. Musco- what was the first ingredient? Flour. Okay. Flour, sugar, butter, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Syrup or honey. Club soda, sorry. Cinnamon, ground, sh- ground ginger, egg, and icing. Whoa. Is it like a cinnamon roll? Close. Well, sort of close. I don't know. It has to be some sort of baked good Mm because it's sweet and Mm -hmm. it's a pastry almost. What's the cinnamon baked good? A cinnamon roll, I just guessed, but I'm thinking. Oh, okay. Uh, A cinnamon cookie. Hold on. Can I give you a hint? (gasps) Good, good guess. Good guess. Good guess. Good guess. I don't know. It has a gender. (laughs) Wait. What? I don't know. Do you want me to tell you? Which gender is it? Man. Male. He, he, him. He, him. It's a he, him cinnamon cookie. Yeah. (laughs) What do you call a he, him? Him. What do you, what's, what is the name of a he, him? Like, what do you? He. No, no, no. That he, him over there. What would you say? (laughs) That blank over there. (laughs) Man. That man. Okay. Uh Uh-huh. Man. Okay. Man cookie. Mm. Man cake. I'm going to read one of the Is ingredients it a pancake? again. I'm going to read one of the ingredients again. One of them again. Okay. Ground ginger. Oh, man cookie. <laughs> <laughs> man cookie. Ground ginger. Man ginger cookie. Other way around. Ginger man. <laughs> Man ginger cookie? How does that sentence come out of your mouth and you don't think, you don't think of gingerbread? I was too wrapped up in his gender. Gingerbread he him. No, that, it was a man. <laughs> it was a man. I was trying to say man. What about a gingerbread they them? Or a gingerbread lady. She, she her. We could have all sorts of gingerbreads. Thank you. Gingerbread non-binary, please. I'm down for all of them. As long as they got flour, sugar, butter, ginger, uh, cinnamon... Whatever else was on my Pinterest. By the way, don't follow my Pinterest. <laughs> don't do it. Oh, <clears throat> okay. Sorry, I got lost. That's okay. Do you know what doesn't get lost? What? The farmer's dog when it's on its Julian. way to your house oh and your dogs God. are starving and like drooling like Kermit does, just so hungry. But the farmer's dog, they don't get lost because it ships right to your front door. Guys, the farmer's mm. dog is a service, Okay. That provides amazingly high quality food from real ingredients for your dog, okay? Packaged in individual pouches, pre-formulated to your specific pet or pets. You go online and you fill out the pet profile with Farmer's Dog. You say the size of the dog, five pounds. Eating habits, Mm -hmm. doesn't love eating. Uh, (laughs) How much they eat, what's their favorite food. Marvel loves noodles, right? You give them all the inside scoop about their... That their uh, their eating habits, and they formulate a customized plan for your dog, and they ship you the packages so that literally you keep them in the freezer, and then the day before you're going to feed them, put them in the fridge. Mm-hmm. Morning comes, 
rip open the package, put it in their bowl, done. It's the easiest way to feed them. And they love it. That's the best part. It's like they have great energy. They never, ever are sick from it. They get so excited. They get so excited for food time. Like Peach loses her, her little tiny mind. She kicks me right in my sore IT band for dinner every yeah. night. And they love it so much because it's real food. And that's what Farmer's Dog does is they give your pet real food like your pet deserves. They don't want to eat kibble as much as you don't want to feed them kibble, right? So Farmer's Dog is offering you 50% off your first two-week trial of fresh, healthy food for your pet at thefarmersdog.com. That's T-H-E-F-A-R-M-E-R-S-D-O-G.com slash Jenna Julian. You get free shipping. Check it out. Give it a try. Let us know what you think. I, uh, I think your pet will be very grateful. Also, guys, if you want food for yourself to show up at your front door, have Postmates bring it to you. Uh, can't even say enough good things. We uh, A lot of times we will order food from Postmates and you are in the mood for something different than I'm in the mood for. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of couples or yeah, friends maybe want, go through that. I can't eat pad thai well, every that's single your, day. That's a weakness of yours, not mine. Uh, <laughs> if she wants to have maybe like a plate from Veggie Grill and I want to have some pad thai, we don't have to fight all night <laughs> about one or the other. <laughs> you can just have your food and I can have mine. And mind you, you know, you can also get the same food and enjoy mm -hmm. two bowls of pad thai or two Veggie Grill plates. Hold my hand for this one. Or three bowls of pad thai. <laughs> <laughs> and Postmates will bring it right to your house. It's really easy. You can track their location on the map so you know how long it's going to be until your food gets here. If you need to hop in the shower, get some stuff done, you'll be in the know. And they show up at your your gate, your door, call you. Here's your food. Done. Easy. Tip them on the app. Uh, it's amazing. And Postmates is offering you $100 of free delivery credits for your first seven days of using the app when you download Postmates and use code Jenna Julian. That's J-E-N-N-A-J-U-L-I-E-N. Check it out. You, uh, it's a good deal. You'd be happy to use it, I think. Okay, go ahead. Why right. did I have to hold your hand so you say three bowls of pad thai? It was a moment. <sighs> Ingredients. One and a half cups, no sugar added apple juice. A half a cup pasteurized apple cider vinegar. One and a half tablespoons raw honey, four tablespoons unflavored a gelatin. Do, do, That's it. Do, 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 <coughs> do, 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 <coughs> Apple Jello. <laughs> it's not the worst guess. Um, is it a solid or a liquid? It's a solid, oh, I no. guess. Okay. Semi-solid. Apple gummy bears. <gasps> They're apple cider vinegar honey gummies. <gasps> what? Yeah. I got it, sort yeah. of? Oh, my God. I'm really proud of you, though. Gelatin really gave good. it away. Yeah. Before that, I was going to guess something disgusting. Okay. Thank you for sharing. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Celery stock. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Man, I wish I had that recipe for review books. Julian. Oh. <laughs> can't stand you. <laughs> you can. You love standing me. No. Okay, sorry. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> I got, can I do two? Yeah, okay. okay. Go for it. Um, dark roasted coffee beans. Okay. Water. Mm -hmm. A coffee filter. Okay. A coffee machine. Uh -huh. A coffee mug. Okay, coffee? Yeah, got it. <laughs> Good job. Julian. That was just a... That, that was, was a shit post. <laughs> okay, let me do my real one. Okay, ready? <laughs> Materials. Well, ingredients. Julian. Baker's twine. Okay. You know what? <laughs> Baker's twine. Okay. Okay. Um, lots of round food with holes in the middle, i.e. Lifesavers, Fruit Loops, Cheerios, Julian, Peach Rings, Pretzel hell? Rings, Twizzlers cut into smaller pieces, or the Smarties with the hole in it. That's it. Okay, you're stringing up some type of candy from the ceiling? Not from the ceiling. From a pole? No. Candy, I'll give you, I'll candy give you limbo. I'll what? Give you a hint. What? Okay, that's not helpful. Is it a candy necklace? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want a high five for that because you nibbled into the mic. Good job. Wow. You did coffee and then a candy, <laughs> candy necklace. You guessed it, though. Good job. All right. Are you ready for yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. Do it to us. I'm going to do it to him. You do, know I had to. You know I had to do it to Eight him. ounces block of cream cheese, softened. 
two cups shredded cheddar cheese, two green onions, eight Ritz crackers, eight slices of bacon, half a cup of pepper jelly. What is pepper jelly? You're just going to have to figure it out. Nacho cheese. Nachos. Cheese ball. Is it a cheese ball? Nope. Is it... There's bacon? Mm-hmm. Cheese puff? Nope. Is it a cheese platter with bacon? No. Can you read the ingredients again? Uh, two eight-ounce blocks of cream cheese. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Buffalo chicken dip. Wait, no. There's no chicken. <laughs> um, savory cheesecake. Mm-mm. Is that a thing? I would eat that. The cream cheese suggests that it might be some type of dip. Mexican cheese dip. What in here was Mexican aside from the cheese? The chili thing. Ritz crackers. Oh, that's not that's not Mexican. That's very not Mexican. It's pepper jelly dip. Pepper jelly dip? Yeah. What the shit? Yeah. No. It's from Louisiana. That is a shit post. No, it sounds good. I'm down. Your what? turn. Your pepper time. Pepper jelly dip? Your turn. All right, fine. My turn. You get ready for this one. All right, I'm ready. I'm going to knock yours. If knee people are from Louisiana, off. they knew what that was. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to offend you guys in your culture. I'm offended. No, you're not. You don't get to be offended. You're not I'm from Louisiana. I'm so offended. Okay, fine. You're offended? I'm going to hit you with a real one now. <laughs> I'm serious. This is a real one. Okay. I'm going to start by listing the herbs. Oh, my God. Wormwood, 100 grams. Julian. Fennel, 50 grams. <laughs> Anise, 50 grams. Mint, 15 grams. Melissa, 8 grams. Chamomile, 3 grams. Cumin, What's 10 Melissa? grams. Melissa? Angelica, 10 grams. Okay, is this a mambo number five? Nope, is this nope, fucking nope, lubega? Nope, nope, what nope, is nope, this? Nope, nope, nope. Melissa? Coloring of uh, your choice. I think green is the preferred color. And then there's four steps of distillation, and then that's the recipe. Is it beer? No. Is it green tea? No. I think there might be... Gr uh, hold on, let me see. Yep. Yeah, no, that's... What are the ingredients? It's not green tea. Is it a drink? Yes. Oh, you also need grain alcohol, I think. <laughs> Julian. Yeah, grain alcohol, 80% or above. Okay, you didn't say that. Grain alcohol, 80% or above, and those herbs. Absinthe. Oh, my God. How did you guess that? <laughs> it's grain alcohol, and it's green, you said. Holy shit. Pure absinthe. I'm not going to high-five you for doing absinthe. I pinned it to my Pinterest board, so if you guys want a, a recipe for pure absinthe, just... Don't follow me on Pinterest, but you can look there. <laughs> have you ever had absinthe? I don't think so. Even the kind that they have here isn't the kind that's like... I've had some overseas. ...going to make you like hallucinate. I've had some overseas. I didn't hallucinate. Okay. It's just like a really strong shot. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Three ounces a box vanilla instant pudding mix. Half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon ground cinnamon, one and a half cups cold commercially made eggnog, half a cup bourbon or rum, eight ounces imitation whipped cream, thawed whipped cream for garnish, and nutmeg for garnish. Spiked, nut, spiked uh, eggnog? Pretty close. Christmas alcohol? Pretty close. What? This um, a bourbon version of an Irish coffee? I don't know. Not a bad guess. What is it? It's an eggnog pudding shot. Oh my god, that's like your literal worst nightmare. Yeah. That that sentence is your yeah. worst nightmare. Taking an eggnog nice sluggish pudding shot. Pudding shot. <laughs> oh god. Y'all want to get drunk off pudding tonight? No. Ew. God. Ew. That's disgusting. You. How welcome. do you? How how someone takes shots of like. Thick, milky substances. I will never understand. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. 
th- uh, one and a half cups of pinhead oatmeal. Oh, what the fuck is that? Fine, we'll just call it oatmeal. Does that make you happier? Okay. Three and a half cups of water. <laughs> One pinch of salt. Generous. Oatmeal. No. Yes, it is. No, it's not oatmeal. Oats. No. <laughs> Oat water. <laughs> it's not oat water. <laughs> I don't know. You give up? Oat tea. Uh, no, no, no. That's not a thing. Oat milk. No. Good question. Good guess though. Oat silk. Oat girt. Oat? <laughs> oat girt? That's actually an egg. not a bad name for an oat based like a, like yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> oat girt. Oat girt. Shark Tank, where you at? I'm really sorry. Oat Gert. <laughs> you you followed that from Oat Soak, which I don't. Oat Soak. <laughs> what the fuck is Oat Soak? I didn't say Oat Soak. Good God. Okay, it's Scottish porridge. Okay, Julian. What? That is a shit post, Julian. That is offensive to all my Scots out there. It's not. A, it's not a shit post. It's an authentic Scottish porridge recipe, very similar to last ep- last episode where I did a gruel. Oh my god! It's just from Scotland. Julian, fine. Are you ready for this recipe? Do it to me. God. Butter, <gasps> six tablespoons. A quarter cup of onion, quarter cup green pe- pepper, quarter cup celery, two cloves of garlic, one package of frozen crawfish, one can of diced tomatoes, tablespoon of Cajun seasoning, half a cup of mayonnaise, cup of shredded Monterey Jack cheese, Parmesan cheese, five scallions, one large loaf of French bread. Uh, a Friday night in New Orleans? <laughs> Crawfish? What else? Crawfish and bread. <laughs> it's crawfish bread. <laughs> it's crawfish bread? <gasps> oh my God. That's a thing? Crawfish bread. Yeah. Okay. Like I'm, I like it. Yeah, I'm down. I mean, I don't eat cheese or crawfish, but like, you know, I'm down with anything like cheese on bread with yeah, food in it. Fair so enough. So yeah. down. Sounds good. Cajun sound seasoning? Good. Fuck me up. I have one that's serious. Can I do one normal one? Okay, go or for no? it. I actually like legit want to make this. Okay. Don't I'm not looking. Oh my god. Boy. Okay. <clears throat> All purpose uh, flour. Um, gluten-free flour if you're me, but all-purpose flour. Xanthan gum. Kosher salt. Cherry flavoring oil. Red gel food coloring. Unsalted butter. Sugar. Corn syrup. Sweetened condensed milk. And golden syrup. Sounds like a like a cherry pie or something. Huh. I don't know. I forgot the beginning ingredients. Flour, xanthan gum, salt. Yeah. Cherry oil. Yeah. So red it's food like a coloring. cherry pastry. Red food coloring. Yeah, it's a cherry pastry. No, incorrect. <gasps> yes, it is. <sighs> it's not. <laughs> it is a dessert though. Uh, and it's not cherry flavored? I didn't say that at all. Then why is the cherry oil in there? For flavoring. <laughs> cherry flavored? Yes. But it's not cherry flavored? I never said that. <gasps> it's cherry flavored. It's legit. I never said it wasn't. I'm confused. It's just not a cherry pie. <gasps> Get your feet off me. A cherry Danish. No, not cherry. a baked good. Hmm. They gave it away. Hmm. I can usually not eat this. Yeah, I gather that much. It has flour in it. <laughs> I've ordered it online before. Licorice. <gasps> yes. Aww. 
cherry. Well, like this is what I'm making. It's like licorice. Oh. We should make it sometime. Okay. Be fun. That would be fun. I didn't realize that licorice had flour in it. It has like wheat flour and like all licorice. Hmm. Okay. That makes sense. Do it to him. Yes. Do it to him. All right, dog. One gallon of water. Three cups dark brown sugar. Four to six ounces spruce tips. One lemon. Half a package of champagne yeast. I don't know what that last thing is. Champagne yeast? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what, what the literal fuck that is? No. Champagne yeast? You, bitch, you read a fucking recipe with Melissa as a spice in it. So, no. <laughs> I'm not telling you what champagne yeast is. All I right. think you can figure it out. All right, I almost had your foot. I'm sorry. Thank you. Can you read the ingredients one more time? No. Okay. Um, is it a bowl of dirt? One gallon of water. Three cups dark brown sugar. Four to six ounces of spruce tips. I know one, what it is. One lemon, half a package of shit. Ferrero Rocher. Easy. <laughs> the, the candy? Yeah. The chocolate? The chocolate, not a candy. Sorry. Whoa. Sorry. Julian had a very in-depth debate on the Twitch stream about what... Why don't we get back into that right now? No. <laughs> You're so sick if of Whether it. chocolate was candy or candy was chocolate. It's an interesting, and it's an interesting argument. I might write a thesis on it's it It's spruce point. beer. Spruce beer. Okay. I should have known with a gallon of water. What are you going to do with a gallon of water other, other than make fucking beer? What's spruce? Like a pine. Okay. Pine beer. Pine beer. Pa beer. Pa beer. Ma beer. Ma pa beer. Why does Pinterest do the thing where every time you exit the app, it like reloads the whole app? And I don't know, but it's your turn, dog. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm ready. From... This website, let's do it. Okay. Ingredients. Sugar. I'm not going to read in amounts unless you want amounts. Okay. Sugar, egg whites, vanilla, salt, butter melted, unsweetened, unsweetened cocoa powder, all-purpose flour, ice cream, chocolate waffle cone, <gasps> chocolate wafers. It's a choco taco. Yes. It's a Choco Taco mm -hmm. in honor of Choco Taco. It's a Choco Taco. We love you, Choco Taco. I'm wearing his merch. I was wearing it yesterday. No, you don't have his merch. Only I do. All right, beat you ready? Mm -hmm. Six cups of potatoes. Mashed potatoes. One, no. Oh. <laughs> One cup of cheddar cheese. Three quarters cup mayonnaise. Oh. One cup of bacon, oh, three teaspoons of garlic, half a cup of onion. It's baked potato from Wendy's. Mm -mm. No. Mashed potato Because with bacon. it calls for six cups potato of Potato skins. No. Six cups of potatoes. Mashed potatoes. French fries with, with mayo. Mayo fries. Deep fried mayo with potatoes on top. <laughs> Not a bad guess. What is it? It's called Mississippi Mud Potatoes. Why? What? Why? How was I supposed to know that? I gave you easy ones like absinthe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got one that you can probably get. Okay. Then. Go, go, go. Okay. One go, 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 go. Faster, The faster. recipe has to open. <laughs> it won't open. Okay. Okay, baby. Marble. All right, Julian. Yeah. Vegetable oil. One cup dill pickle chips. One cup's buttermilk. 1.5 cups. Pickles. What kind? Deep fried pickles. Copycat Hooters. Copycat <laughs> Hooters fried pickles. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I should put on a, a Hooters, you know, get up mm -hmm. and I can make you some fried pickles and give Cute. you the Hooters experience if you want it. Yeah. You can objectify me a little bit. Okay, I'm down. Yeah, okay. Okay. Cool. We'll make a vlog out of it. Sounds tight. No, we won't. Okay, you ready? This is okay. This is the only recipe that I picked that I think you'd actually like want to eat right okay. now. Okay. Three hundred thousand grams of pasta. Okay, mm. so just three hundred grams of pasta. One tray of fresh uni. <gasps> Ew. Do you know what that is? Yeah, it's a sea urchin. Nice. Well done. Don't, I don't need to touch hands with you. Butter, room temperature, <laughs> not cold. Olive oil, miso, garlic. It's that udon Cream, pasta that... One egg. 
Uni udon. Togarashi? No. Togarashi, crushed nori, and salt. Ew, it's uni pasta. Yeah. Sea urchin pasta with with uni miso butter. No, 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 no. I'm going to throw up just thinking about whatever that is. I don't. Oh, I can't look at it. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. The, those are like the little balls. I don't know what those are. Are those fish eggs? Yeah. Ooh, I'm going to vom. I'm going to vom. I'm going to. Don't. I can't. Like. It, Look, you can touch it and feel the texture. It like, actually makes me nauseous. No, no. <laughs> don't make that noise. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you done or do you have any more? No, I have more. Oh. But now I'm going to vom. Okay. I only have like a couple more. Okay. I have some more for you. Okay, Are you ready? Cool, 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 cool. Give me, give me, do me, do me, do me, okay. do me, do me, do me. One and a quarter cup of sugar. A half a cup of oil. Three tablespoons of citrus juice. Deep fried lemonade. <laughs> That's it? That's it. Oil, citrus juice, and sugar? Mm-hmm. <laughs> syrup. <laughs> it's syrup. It's not syrup. What's an oil? What oil? Fried sugar? Mm-mm. Is it fried? Mm-mm. Is it a liquid? No, technically not. Sweet oil. Mm-mm. Um, Swoil. Syrup? Did I say syrup? It's not syrup. Is it triple sec? No. Is it... um? It's just oil. What do you mean? It's oil with two other things. Citrus, lemon oil. Oil with lemon. (laughs) Oil poured on top of lemon and sugar. (laughs) Oil and lemon and sugar? Don't smile like that. (laughs) (laughs) Do you want to know? Give me a hint. You shrugging your shoulders is not a hint. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that is the opposite of it. It smells like lemon. Lemon pledge? No. Is it a cleaning product? No. Oil. You ready? Yeah. It's a leg scrub. That's not a recipe. <laughs> it is a recipe. That's... Not a recipe. It is a recipe. It doesn't go in your body. I looked up scrub recipe. Okay. Sorry you didn't get it. Okay. (laughs) My turn. If we're doing that, my turn. Tequila, vodka, rum, triple sec, gin, lemon juice. Oh my God, jungle juice. No. Wait, read it again? Tequila, vodka, rum, triple sec, gin, lemon juice. Oh, that's like a Long Island I see. It's the kitchen cabinet, dude. Yeah. Okay. Um... Here you go, Julian. I'm doing it to him. You know how to. You know how to. to. Half a cup of creamy peanut butter. A quarter cup honey. One tablespoon of coconut oil. Cup of chicken broth. Cup of rolled oats. Cup of whole wheat flour. Cup of all-purpose flour. Okay. What? <laughs> okay, restart, please. <laughs> Half a cup of creamy peanut butter. Half a cup of honey, one tablespoon of coconut oil, a cup of chicken broth. That's where you (laughs) lost me. (laughs) One cup of rolled oats, one cup of whole wheat flour, one cup of all-purpose flour. Peanut butter, oat, fried chicken. No. There's no chicken. It's just chicken broth. That's somehow worse. Peanut butter... Soup. Chicken ice, chicken soup flavored ice cubes topped with peanut butter. (laughs) (laughs) Who do you think this recipe? Dog. That's a dog food recipe. (laughs) (laughs) Wolf. (laughs) It is the dog food recipe. Is it like a lick or like just a soup for them? No, it's flour. Oh, so it's like a baked. Do you bake it? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. So it's like a doggy little. It's a biscuit. biscuit. Oh, God. <laughs> Ew. That reminds me of when we made 
I'm pretty sure we followed a recipe very similar to that when we made them biscuits, and they loved it. Um, <laughs> hello? Sorry, I'm just trying to get there. Hello? Oh, sorry. What is going on? This is the recipe I have. It's a video. Oh, it's frozen. <laughs> what is it? Okay. Um, I don't know what to do here. I'm going to close the app. My app froze. Okay. I'm, I'm going to try to click it again. Oh, read it. There's a read it. There's a read it version. Wait one sec. What is going on? I'm doing my next recipe. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Uh, one of the ingredients is going to give it completely away, but I'm going to do it at the end. Plastic knife, small mixing bowl, oh. petroleum jelly, an EOS container. <laughs> is it slime? No. A cotton bud, vanilla, vitamin E capsule, capsule, coconut oil, beeswax. That's That's the list of ingredients for... Yep, that's it. What do you got? What's your guess? Is that a homemade chapstick? Close. Lip balm. What is that? EOS cup. <laughs> Fuck off, Julian. EOS, Fuck EOS off, lip Julian. balm cup, cupcake. Fuck off, Julian. What is that? There was a really bright and colorful DIY video on it, and it sucked me in, so I had is to it, add this to my page. Wait, is it? So it, it's a lip balm because it's just petroleum and vitamin E. But it's a cupcake. Because somebody put sprinkles in it? Yeah. That's Wait, disgusting. How is it a cupcake? Oh, I see. I see. What? It, it isn't a cupcake. Yeah, it's a lip it's balm. It's just a lip balm. But I imagine DIY cupcake EOS. That's so misleading. It's like a cupcake looking EOS, but it's not an actual edible cupcake that looks like an EOS. So I could click on this video mm -hmm. and not know better and make that thing eat it. Julian, it's clearly not food. DIY cupcake EOS. I mean, put cupcake in the thumbnail <laughs> on the title and not give me a cupcake. That's a quick way to and get And you're me in upset. the kitchen looking at a thing of petroleum going, man, I just never knew that was a cupcake. <laughs> Damn. It's a weird looking cupcake. Okay. Well, Are you I ready? tried. Yeah. One and a half cups of flour, one cup of rolled oats, a tablespoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter cup of uh, sugar, one egg, milk, a quarter cup of coconut oil, half a cup of honey, and a cup of dandelion, dandelion flower petals. Merry Christmas. Some fucking baked good with flower petals on it. Is it bread? Yeah. It is. It's, it's a bread. Kind of, it's a kind of bread. Well, is sort of. Cornbread. No. Is there corn in it? No, Julian. Is there flowers on top or inside? <gasps> They're inside. Oh, Peach is dreaming. I wonder what she's dreaming about. Should I go ask her? It's a loud dream, Peachy. Oh, is it she's a... growling. Is she growling? Yeah. Move your mic towards her. I want to see if we can hear it. <laughs> Cute. I'm gonna raise Jenna's mic. Come on, Peach. She might be done dreaming. Come on, Peach, give us something good. You're so cute, little girl. Yeah, I think she's done. As uh, whenever you try to listen to your dog having a dream, is when they stop having a dream. I know, right? Um, I don't know. Is it some sort of like Brazilian sweet bread or something? It's a muffin. Oh, that's much simpler. Okay, what kind of muffin? A dandelion muffin oh. from Montana. I don't care. <laughs> Yum. Am I right? You're wrong. Did you ever eat dandelions? No. They're good. No, they're not good. Yeah. All right, I got one. Okay. Supplies. Bolt cutters, <laughs> saw, wrench, metal rod, nuts, washers, and lock washers to fit up 
of fourth of inch for threaded rods, heavy duty felt pads for feet, pieces of MDF for the boards, piping gel, candy melts, food color gels, small rolling pin, offset spatula, tylos powder, Drensen tool, dressed in tool, um, flexible fondant smoothers, fondant modeling chocolate, foil tape, circle cutters, sugar shapers, fondant ribbon cutter, six wheel pastry cutter. A Tony Hawk cake. Close. All the fondant, like you're making something on the top of a cake or something like that. Close. This could also be like a Tony Hawk cake at a child's birthday party. A Tony Hawk cupcake. No, it's not Tony Hawk, nor a cake. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, wait, no, it is a cake. Sorry, it is a cake. It is a cake. It's just not a Tony Hawk cake. Okay, a minion cake. No, no, no. Keep guessing. Spider-Man. Keep guessing. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I can't see. What is it? Fortnite llama cake. <laughs> Fuck off. So you did V-Bucks cookies and a Fortnite llama cake? I'm a Fortniter. What do you want? Come on. That looks cool. Look. Look at the cross section here. It's okay, like, that is so cool. That's so dope. That is really fucking cool. Right? This was done so well, though. Like, yeah. I mean, this Who would made take, that fucking Roseanne and Pansy? Yeah, what this would take hell? me 800 fucking times. And it to, would come out it. looking like shit. Well, the first 799, it would. The 800, that would come really good. Looking great. Okay, I'm out of recipes, Julia. Oh, I got one good one for dessert to top us off. Ready for a dessert? Finish us off. Do we not just have dessert with that Fortnite llama no, that cake? That was the main course. Let me just get through the novel here. Okay, here we go. Butter, onion, celery, carrots, one ham bone, diced ham, split. You just had to write it like that. Split peas, six cups of chicken stock, two bay leaves, kosher salt. Split pea soup. Why do they have to write split peas? Because that's what they are. But they could have just wrote peas, secret style. Split pea soup. Mm. Well, take a bowl of split pea soup and serve yourself and move out of my way because I'm having some next. You don't even like soup. I don't like soup at all, nor do I like split pea soup. In fact, if I were to choose one soup to literally never eat. It's good. Split pea soup? Yeah. Come on. How dare you? I like all soup. I know you do. So you're biased. Mm -hmm. Split pea soup to me. Well, except for seafood, gross. seafood soup. Seafood soup. Not interested. Um, split pea soup is gross. No, it's not. Family. Help me out of here. No, peas are good. I don't, I don't agree with you at all. <laughs> agree with me. No, I'll, I'll give you soup can be good. Chicken noodle soup, ramen, you like hot, hot and sour, sour soup. soup. Yep. Um, even like a when I was younger, I would have like like a clam chowder was good. Mm -hmm. So soup is good, but not every soup. Split, split pea soup. Get out of here. Don't do that. You're not at liberty to say because I don't think you've ever had it. You don't think I've ever had split pea soup? Yeah. How about this? Ready? I'm gonna drop a bomb on you. I have had it. <laughs> There you go. What are you going to do now? I don't think you have. I have. I have. I don't think you have. I have. Ask my mom and my brother. They know. I've okay. I'll see your brother tomorrow. I'll ask him. Don't ask him. He's not going to know what the fuck I'm talking about because <laughs> you're lying. Um, no, I, I've had split, split pea soup and I don't enjoy it. Good morning, Marvel. Good morning. See, now is an appropriate time to put oh, your hand near him because he just saw what boy, was coming at him. Yeah. Good boy. All right, Julian. You want some farmer's dog? He does. He mm. loves it. Well, good job. Hold on, let me do that again. Good job. Okay, don't... Oh my God. All right, we're done here. Thank you guys for listening to the podcast. Um, hopefully you uh, enjoyed listening to, us, listening to us list off recipes and improperly guess them all day. It was fun. Hope you had a good time. Don't make any of these if you want anyone who lives with you to still like you. Except for the Fortnite V-Buck cookies, definitely make those. <laughs> that's a good that's a good way to become the favorite roommate in the house. Um 
anyway, we'll see you guys next Monday. Thank you for hanging out for another episode. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you, sponsors. Bye, and, y'all. Uh, we'll catch you later. Bye, guys. Bye.